Hi, I'm Miles Budimir, Senior Motion Control Editor with Design World. And I'm Lisa Eitel, Senior Motion Control Editor as well. And what we have here today is a servo drive called the S6 from KEB America. One interesting thing about the S6 is that it can control servo, induction, linear, or torque motors with just a change in the software that it runs. That's right. There are actually different algorithms for different kinds of motors. In the case of induction motors, for example, there is a technique called sensorless speed control that the S6 can use. The name comes from the fact that the algorithm can be used to vary the speed of the motor without the need for any position or speed feedback from any kind of sensor or encoder. The S6 can also run a sensorless closed loop scheme for conventional servo motors. This technique has limitations at low speeds, but has been quite successful when torque and speed regulation is critical, as with spindle motor applications, for example. Uh, on the other hand, the S6 can run algorithms that use position or speed feedback, thanks to dual encoder interfaces, actually right here and here, uh, that support multiple data formats, as you'd get from a resolver, from incremental TTL signals, NDAT, and others. On the bottom of the unit here, uh, there are connections for inputs from motor temperature sensors, DC volts, and a 24 volt 2 amp output designed to power a motor brake here. Uh, with an overhauling load, energy will come back from the motor to the S6. The S6 also has integrated braking transistors which let the energy bleed onto a resistor. In contrast, the motor brake is separate altogether and is simply a power supply for a 24 volt servo brake. The S6 also takes three phase AC from 230 to 480 volt mains, right up here at the top, uh, or it can be uh, connected to a DC bus. The AC input is here uh, on top, the DC input is here on the bottom of the unit. Uh, it has a CAN interface uh, on the connections here and real time EtherCAT link via these two Ethernet bus interfaces right here. Uh, you've got a serial diagnostic interface here as well with terminal block connections here for digital inputs and outputs, one relay output and two analog inputs as well. The S6 also has an SIL3 or safety integrity level 3 with a safe torque off rating. This basically means that there is circuitry which lets a motor come to a dead stop without removing power to the drive. It's something like an e-stop, although not quite the same. So in a nutshell, that's the S6. To find out more, visit www.kebamerica.com, and you can always find more videos on www.designworldonline.com. Thanks.